Okay, today we're going to be taking a look at Deepin Linux. This is version 15.4.1. Uh, Deepin is based off of uh, Debian Unstable. Don't let the word unstable fool you because they've done a really good job. Uh, this has been very stable. Been using it for a couple of weeks now and uh, yeah, I have no real complaints about it. Um, it's definitely a different workflow, but before we get into uh, how it works and whatnot, I did a an install on VirtualBox that I'll just play for you right now, give you an idea of uh, how the installation process goes. It actually was a very, it's a different installer, and I was pleasantly surprised by it. It worked quite well. Right now we're just going through the uh, boot process, booting up off of the uh, the ISO file in VirtualBox, as I said. Shouldn't take that long. Speed it up a bit. There we go. Now we get to the language selection. It has uh, various different languages you can select. I chose English for my, uh, my uh, install language. This is just a reminder because I'm using it in VirtualBox. Uh, some of the system performance will be affected and whatnot. Okay, now I create a user account. I just entered in Deepin. I put in a capital D, which I shouldn't have as a username. So I'm going to have to re-fix uh, that, put in a small d. Left Deepin PC as the PC name. Entered in my password and uh, confirmed the password to make sure that they're both uh, identical. Didn't make a mistake. Time zone was already pre-selected for me. Now this is a really interesting uh, partition install uh, selector. You have your simple and advanced. I uh, wasn't, this is the first time I went through it, so I was a little bit confused looking around what it is, and I said, ah, oh, there's the advanced. Click on that. Gives you uh, different options for formatting and whatnot. And uh, see, you can choose your different uh, file system mount points and uh, things like that format the partition or not select OK and then I wanted to look for the bootloader is there any way of changing that and you just click on it and then you can select where to install it if you want to install it on the root partition or in the master boot record which I left it as it was now it's just saying that it's going to format the disk and uh, set the mount point I hit continue and then you have a pleasant little uh, slideshow that uh, goes by. I sped this up a little bit, but even then, uh, it didn't take that long, maybe about 10 or 15 minutes. But that's basically the install process. Once it's uh, gone through, successfully installed, experience now, and you reboot into your system, which is this here. Now, this is basically... This system is all based around the dock. It's a different dock. It's not like your uh, plank. Um, this is uh, completely developed by Deepin themselves. Has the launcher menu here, where you can also use your, your Windows key, or on a Mac OS, I guess it would be the command key. And then it opens up your menu. Now, as it comes stock, it's like this, so everything there's no real organization, it's just all your different applications. I prefer clicking here, that way you can have your shortcuts for your internet and music and office. Easier to, to, to navigate through it. It comes with a WPS Office, which is a lot more similar to the way Microsoft Office works. I haven't really played around with it too much, but I've, you know, seen that... that it, I've seen it on other distributions and it seems to work quite well. It comes with Google Chrome as your uh, default uh, web browser. I of course downloaded uh, Chromium and Firefox and my my favorite Vivaldi. Now if you want to get into their settings, well there's also I should say there's hot corners up here and then it uh, starts up your uh, your main menu down here and you have your uh, 
Your settings panel. Another way to access it is through this shortcut here, the control center. Accounts. You can set up different accounts. Resolution, brightness, uh, default applications you can go through for web browser. See, Google Chrome is still as the default. I will set that to the Vivaldi. Mail, Thunderbird, don't really use a mail client that much myself. Text editor, music, and whatnot. Then get back to your main setting this way. Display default applications we went through. Personalization, different themes you can set up. Have a dark theme if you prefer. Icon themes, you can use this one. See, so it changes your icons down here. And let's see, network. So all of everything that you would find in your regular control panel is all down here. Time and date, power management, mouse and touchpad. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, mouse speed, keyboard settings. And then there's information about your system. It's Deepin 15.4.1. It's the Deepin desktop environment is uh, what, what this is running on. There is my computer, memory, disk, license, boot menu. You can set up your bootloader that way. So it's a very, uh, very highly polished system. Works extremely well. Um, I've had no problems with it whatsoever. I was thinking it would be a little bit weird without having a uh, some kind of panel up top, but everything works quite well just from this one dock. You have access to basically everything you need, your volume, wired Ethernet, wireless. If you want to shut it down, you click on here. And then it has your uh, different options for rebooting and whatnot. This is your system tray. There, if you have something in there, it'll it'll show up in here. Uh, there's your preferences, but I guess that's different now. That uh, Deepin terminal, Deepin file manager, it's a it's a decent uh, file manager. Have access to everything. If you want to have hidden files? Uh, go to properties. Oh, that was for my pictures. Okay settings uh, hidden files show hidden files well, I guess I'd have to close it out before it uh... oh why is that not working okay well I guess I just found a little glitch in it here uh, oh I have to go to home there we go because there were no hidden files where I was so there we go, the hidden files, the dot files all show up. I can click back here, go to settings, go to hidden files, and uncheck that, and there we go. So this was a quick overview of Deepin Linux. Um, I don't really have very much negative to say about it. There is some concern that people have because this is a Chinese uh, distribution. Um, I don't really see how that would really affect anything, but some people, I guess, uh, don't like the Chinese or they're, they're scared that they might be trying to snoop on us or something. But with this being an open source uh, operating system, I can't really see that being much of a concern. So that's my opinion anyways. Uh, I really enjoyed my time using Deepin and I would recommend it for a beginner. Uh, or anyone else just uh, wanting to have a nice, highly polished uh, desktop experience. You can see all your different uh, multitasking views here. Choose that. Yeah, okay, so that'll be it for now. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.